one thing I realized recently is that my videos, my last two videos in particular, did not get as many views as my first. Again, I'm not complaining that I'm not getting enough views, just hear me out first. So, my first ever video was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Havoc OS uh, ROM review for the OnePlus 2, followed by my second video, which was No Gravity Kernel for the OnePlus 2, and the most recent one being Matrix Kernel for the OnePlus 2. So what I'm trying to say here is, I noticed that kernels are not as popular as to ROM. The reason is because um, most people when they root their phones, they just install custom ROMs and most of them do not install custom kernels. I mean, of course I knew about this before, but it was very obvious once I saw the views on my videos. Again, I am not complaining that I'm not getting enough views. The reason I'm saying that is when I started this channel, I wanted to help those who were, who were seeking information like maybe if you're new to the ROM, the custom ROM scene and so on, you might want to know about a certain custom ROM before actually installing it. So that is why I actually started this channel and seeing that this, these kernel reviews are not getting much views, I was reminded once more that not many people actually use custom kernels, most of them just use custom ROMs and some custom ROMs already come with different kernels. So therefore, I'm trying to switch my focus more onto custom ROMs instead of custom kernels. And putting that aside, that was a very, very long intro. Well, all of that is basically building up to what I'm doing today, which is I will be reviewing .OS for the OnePlus 2. So guys, starting off first, what is .OS? .OS is basically, it's a very, very famous custom ROM in the uh, custom ROM scene. Uh, not just for the OnePlus 2, but for a lot of devices, the Redmi Note, the uh, Galaxy line, the Nexus line, and many other phone lines have .OS. And this .OS is very, very well known for its customizability mostly on uh, custom features and even customizing certain elements so that being said as you guys can see i'm using .os version 3 i'm using the default kernel uh this is actually not a custom kernel for the oneplus 2 i think this is a general kernel and what i noticed with this kernel battery life is pretty decent i, I should say compared to some others so guys, let's just quickly take a look at the battery life here. So where's that battery? There it is. As you can see, 70%, I'm running on 70%. So not in battery saver like the last video. I was actually on battery saver, so my scores were low and so on. Taking a look at the curve, as you guys can see, yes, I recharged it, but I would say the battery life was pretty good as far as it lasted and my apps usage there was really really smooth you guys can see my last full charge was 12 hours ago and i used for 2 hours and 19 minutes but then again yes i recharged my battery just a few minutes ago and yeah moving on to the dot extras so as you guys can see here it's arranged very neatly nice uh, interface to the dot extras first the status bar let's take a look at it and the first one is miscellaneous extras. So you guys can see status bar, wake up and charge, roaming indicator, 4G, Volti icon, and show our logo on status bar. Next is battery stats, it's only two things, battery style and battery percentage. So as you guys can see, there's a few battery styles to choose from. There's portrait, there's circle, dotted circles, and there's the dotted circles right there. And oops, I almost dropped my phone there. And yeah, those are the battery styles. There's even text and hidden. Uh, I'm just going to move it back to circle. And yeah, battery percentage, you can choose if it's inside the icon, beside the icon, or just you can completely turn it off. So let's go back. And there's battery bar. I normally don't turn on battery bar, but just to show you guys, as you guys can see, there's only one option for now, which is above the status bar. And you guys can customize the battery bar color. I'm just going to move it to red just to test it here. And as you guys can see, that is working perfectly. So there's a few extra tweaks here. You guys can take a look at yourself. This battery bar thickness. You can adjust the thickness of the battery bar. As you guys can see, I put it to maximum thickness right here. 
and everything seems to be working well charging animation there's blend colors there's a few stuff moving on to clock settings so as a clock settings as you guys can see clock style can adjust the clock style on left uh, right center and then there's the am pm styles uh, you can show seconds a am pm styles is something like you maybe want small or hidden I'm just gonna try small right there as you guys can see it's 402 p.m. and then I'm gonna just disable that again hidden I always keep it at hidden I find it like kind of cluttering so date style you can see small date and then you can of course switch it to normal date but I always turn it off again I do not like too much clutter so this few other things can adjust clock font style clock font size here I'm taking a look at the clock font styles, there's a few, a lot of fonts actually. And moving on to the next settings, tra traffic indicators, my bad. Uh, I always disable this, again, it is kind of overkill, I should say. I mean, it's really not necessary unless you're a huge networking person, then maybe you would want to check your net activity. So just, that's the auto height threshold, and... Yeah, that is pretty much it for network traffics, but I always, always disable it. I find it kind of annoying. Anyways, moving on to status bar icon. As you can see, there's a few icons on the status bar. You can adjust headset auto rotate. I always turn it off. It's kind of useless. And yeah, all right, uh, moving on. All right, navigation bar. As you can see, I can enable the navigation bar. Um, there's a few things I can adjust. By default, it is the P style animation bar and not the Oreo. So therefore, the new animation bar with that pill down there. And navigation mode, you can change it to start, smart bar, offlink. I always disable my navigation bar because OnePlus 2 always has a hardware button. So that's that. One thing, one issue is when you press the back button, it always goes back to the main screen. Moving on, quick settings. So for quick settings, a few things you can adjust, the brightness button beside the slider, I always turn it off. You can turn it on, you guys can see over there. And yeah, moving on, I forgot to turn off the battery bar so I'm just going to do that real quick. Hide battery bar right there. So recent, you guys can see there's recent style which at the moment is Pi. You can change it to AOSP but I'm not going to do that. So next up is lock screen. So lock screen, you guys can see over here, there's a few options to tweak the lock screen UI. We got face auto unlock, fingerprint authentication vibration, fingerprint unlock, ambient music ticker, which is, I say, one of my favorite features. And next, moving on to lock screen shortcuts, you guys can see we can set the left and right uh, shortcuts and it will show at the left and right. As of now, it is the default mic and camera that I set. I didn't change it. so. It's the default in every single Pi phone. Alright, so I just unlock my phone real quick. And we will be moving on to the next part in .OS Extras, which is System. So you guys can see here buttons and general tweaks. In buttons, it's mostly just the power button, volume control, and even the navigation buttons, the hardware ones. So you guys can see here, brightness level. I can link my phone button back like, to the screen brightness. Uh, button backlight torch Single press long press options and so on moving on general tweaks We can see here toast icon and that's pretty much it for the dot OS um, Settings nothing much more to show here and yeah, that's it so an overall review on the um, ROM I would say performance is good Definitely, definitely, uh, the battery life is good. The one issue that I faced in this ROM is the notification slider customization. You can't really change the notification slider options. There, if I'm not mistaken, there are six options, and you can only choose four or something like that. Because as of now, that has always been a bug with certain kernels. I don't know, by the time this video is out, there might even be an update for it. If there is an update, go ahead. If you face any problems with the alert slider customization, I would suggest flash any lineage-based kernels, maybe NGK or even Matrix. So I guess that's pretty much it for this video, guys. 
thanks for watching please make sure to like this video if you have anything to say comment below and for the next two weeks i will not be able to upload anything because of my finals so there's that and again this video might seem rushed a bit because to be honest it is and guys okay a personal favor my views have been great to be honest 400 views 200 views even less than 100 views i'll take it but what's the sad part i would say is my subscriber count which is at the moment only 21 yes it is good but to be honest i would really love to see more subscribers i promise to release more content often if i don't have anything going on and hope you guys subscribe to my channel this is umesh signing off from the tech grid peace out guys Oh,